Let's take a page out of a Matt Pittman's playbook. Today is all about a chocolate pecan pie cobbler. We've made it in the past. It was outstanding. We're up the game today because we're at a little bourbon. Love a little bourbon. Let's go. First things first, get yourself about two cups of chopped pecans. We're going to add your favorite bourbon. Let those pecans absorb all that liquid. Just give these a mix about every five minutes. We're going to give that about 20 minutes. While those pecans are getting tipsy, let me introduce you to the Pecan Pantry. Available in one, three, and five pound packages. You might be thinking, holy smokes, that's a lot of pecans. And you would be right, because this time of year, pecans are used in a ton of different varieties. You got your pecan pie, you got your pecan streusels, pecans are everywhere. What about spiced nuts? So if you're making any type of dish this year, you need to make sure you got the Pecan Pantry pecans in your dish. Why? The Pecan Pantry is a third generation family run business right here in the USA. You guys know that we love to support American made products. This company is run by a great family that makes a great product. So how do you guarantee a premium pecan? The Pecan Pantry said this, there's a ton of varieties grown. Each year they're gonna harvest the top three varieties each year to make sure that you guys are getting the premium product every single year. Matter of fact, it could actually change. So one pecan you have this year could be different than the other pecan next year or a different type grown. Like I said, we had no idea. We actually did our own taste test. We went to the store, we bought those pecans that you guys see on the shelves and we compared them side by side. These are the pecan pantry pecans and these are your grocery store pecans. These pecans are all natural, fresh shelled premium pecans. Just quickly grabbing some nuts here. You can see the quality, the size, and the difference. You wouldn't think so, but me and the wife, before this started, tasted them side by side before we got into uh, doing this recipe. And it was astounding the difference in the taste. That's why we truly believe that if you're gonna up your game for the holidays, have the best pecan available. About 20 minutes later, we've got our eggs. We're gonna beat those up and give them a head start on what we're making here. We have our Traeger, it's rocking around 350 degrees. That's coming up to temp and everything just goes into the bowl. Vanilla, corn syrup, brown sugar, add that melted butter and just give that a mix. We have pie dough that's been uh, coming up to room temperature out of the refrigerator. So this is a 12 inch large cast iron skillet and it should fit in just about perfectly if you hold your tongue right. Chocolate chips. Just spread those evenly. Next step, you're just gonna eyeball it and you're at about half of the pecan mixture. Spread that around. Take that second pie dough right over top, should fit perfectly. Now we're gonna place it in the smoker at 350 for 20 minutes. And 20 minutes later, it should look something like that, hopefully, I don't know. Next up, we're just going to add the remaining of that pecan pie mix. And then with our remaining pecans, we're going to nicely arrange these around. Once your pecans are placed nice and eaten like that, we're gonna put it on the smoker for about another 30 minutes. All righty, about 40 minutes later. Ooh, that bad boy looks good. As you know, anytime you make a pecan pie or a cobbler or anything, it's very important to let it cool. So now the waiting game begins. Alrighty, so in fairness, we have let this cool down overnight. The fight I had with my wife is probably one of the ones that would go into a world famous <laughs> wrestling federation nonstop drag out fight. She I... has been picking and picking and picking for hours. I've been trying to 
hide resist. It <laughs> and it was a argument. I barely won. All right, here we go. It's a personal preference. You want to serve it warm, serve it warm. We thought maybe to cool it down a little bit longer. I think we tested it in like two hours and it was still like 100 degrees to give you an idea. Uh, that had been a, just about the perfect temperature for a cobbler. It does take a long time for this to cool down. Um, I think in Matt's video, he said he let it cool down for 20 minutes. Being a cast iron and all those uh, butters and sugars, it's going to take you a little bit longer than that. But of course, that's up to you guys. However warm you want it, that's up to you. This is just room temperature. I don't know if I show it from the corner, from the middle. I guess we'll just dive right in. I mean, it's not necessarily supposed to be a triangle or anything like that, being a cobbler. Not necessarily, but that doesn't mean it won't be good. There we go. It is a cobbler after all. You're supposed That's to right. scoop it. That's right. We're going to try it without the ice cream first. Are you kidding me? I don't know how you guys eat your cobbler, but down here in the south, definitely a scoop of ice cream. And then just because you didn't think it had enough sugar the first time, just a touch of caramel. There you go, chocolate pecan cobbler. I just can't imagine it going wrong. Sugar, best pecans on the planet. Damn. <laughs> that bourbon. Now we did change the measurements a little bit from Meat Church's original recipe. So we'll have yep. that in description. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, I've been waiting like almost 24 hours, so <laughs> now give me a bite. <laughs> the chocolate. The chocolate. <laughs> Do you like it better like room temp versus warm? We'll have to heat up some later. The only reason why I do, because I'm not a huge fan of like melted ice cream. Mm. So I feel like you get more of the, the ice cream on it for longer mm. versus like melting and then all be a gooey. Mm. Mm. But being warm would be just as good. Mm. You're not going to go wrong. Golly, you do get the bourbon. I do like the not, addition. Right. It's not overpowering. It complements it. Did you try that chocolate? I do like the addition of the um, of the bourbon. If I was going to make it, I know a lot of people out there are kind of like shy away from the, the alcohol. Mm. It cooks long enough to cook the alcohol out. Mm. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Well, Cheers to you guys for a holiday. Oh, God, here we go. I didn't even have a chance to get that spoon up. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this. Pecans are where it's at. So many recipes out there that are making them this year. Up your pecan game. Um, hopefully, there's something out there that we made that you guys enjoy, and I can't imagine you not enjoying this one. This should be a family favorite. As always, check us out on Facebook or check us out on Instagram. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. <laughs> you might want to make a second second batch for sharing it. <laughs> That's going to be good in the bed later. <laughs> we eat our dessert in the bed. <laughs> yeah, we do.